smell. Okay, let's go potty. Mmm, where'd you guys go? Whole Foods. That one. This one? Oh, you picked vanilla. Oh, okay, I picked mm. vanilla. <laughs> Did it work? Mm -hmm. That won't make the fire alarm go off, will it? So I just got back from a run with the puppy dog and look at her. She's like, guys, I am so tired right now. Just leave me alone. It's nice and cool on this pavement. I'm just gonna stay right here. It was a pretty good run though. I, I ran 10 seconds faster than I did yesterday. <laughs> it's not bad, it's better than what it was and my run time is pretty pathetic anyway. So, it's nice to have little victories like that. Blake's been evicted from the bathroom. Because <laughs> he, his mom had to go to the bathroom and so... You look kind of like Santa Claus. Thanks. Thanks. Can I have a kissy? Mm-mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Fun little tip I have for year, from years and years of babysitting. Just mix everything in mac and cheese and it's delicious. And then you get all of this yummy healthy things like tuna and broccoli. And mac and cheese, which isn't the healthiest, but when you mix it all, it's better than if it was just plain mac and cheese, right? It smells terrible. <laughs> it does. I know it does. Yeah, it's because it's tuna that. and mac and cheese, but I swear it's delicious. Hello. Good morning. No. Yes. No. Good morning. No. Hello. No. Hello. We're just waking up. It's the morning time. Oh, I think the puppy knows we're awake. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to wake up and say good morning to your mom and the puppy dogs? Mm-hmm. Let's see the puppy dog. Wait, where are you going? I'm fine. She, uh, she's going to want to see you the most. I know, I know. Okay, well, let me see the puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. Oh, are you being crazy this morning? Are you being crazy? Is that why you have the dental leader on? Well, okay, Blake's going to the bathroom. He's not out yet. Come on. Good morning. Hello. Do you miss doing pretty good? Huh? I don't know. What? She was doing pretty good and then she started getting a little too bad. Well, at least you got it on. Twice. Yeah. I took her out for a walk. And? Life is so different. I know. She's so much easier to walk with the gentle leader. But as soon as we walked up, down the stairs, big fat drops. Raindrops? Raindrops. <gasps> and then by the time that we walked, they did their little thing. Poop. Yeah. And then we walked to the lot. It was hailing. Really? And big fat drops. And so we're out there shivering. What time was this this morning? It was mm, 7.30. Because the first thing we did, Blake, Blake was like, can you go open the window? I want to see what the weather's doing. <laughs> like the first thing he says when he woke up. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it's really sunny. And it it's, is really sunny. It's extremely though. sunny. But so. if you go out, the road is probably all wet. And my sweatshirt huh. is sopping wet. It's hanging on here. That's so weird. Maybe not sopping. That's so weird. Well, we're supposed to get rain this week. Maybe that was it. Are you, are you hating your gentle leader? She's like, Mama, take it off. Take it off, please. Grandma, with that mean grandma of mine. <laughs> I hate this thing. It's sunny, but yeah. apparently it was raining and hailing earlier. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. Yeah. Really? I had, I wow, I slept I through all sleep. that. Yeah, yeah I, I, no, I heard it and I was just like, it sounds crazy out there. I'm hoping I get a call. I hope it keeps going like this all day. <laughs> Hopefully that's what tomorrow will be. 
Okay, so I'm actually filming this out of order from the regular vlogs. It's actually Friday right now. I'm in the middle of editing it right now, and I just responded to all these comments on the previous vlog. I'm gonna walk you through this. This is shouting out to Arlie, who's trying to touch up her roots, and I, I really want to help you out because I, I know that salons are expensive, and I don't like to go to them because I like to do everything myself because I'm a little proud like that. But you asked to see specifically everything I used, and I was watching the footage that I filmed back, and it just wasn't recording when I was filming, which sucks. So I didn't get any of the footage of me filming, touching up my roots, except for this clip right here. It literally wasn't recording that entire time. Ugh. Guess what? It wasn't recording that entire time. <laughs> No! Yeah, isn't that sucky? So, that sucks. But anyway, I'm gonna show you everything that I use to touch up my roots. First thing you're going to need is a bowl and a brush. You don't even need to get a bowl, honestly, as long as you have like some sort of ceramic bowl or um, Tupperware or something that you can mix this up in. You don't have to buy the bowl. I just prefer the bowl just because it has, if you can see, I don't know if you can, it has measuring on the side, how many ounces you use and stuff like that. So this is why I like to have these bowls, but it's not necessary. A pair of gloves. These are ones are reusable latex gloves and I think they were about a dollar or two. I don't usually use gloves when I'm touching up my roots because I'm not taking the bleach all the way through my hair and I'm not touching bleach a whole lot. But if I am touching bleach, I usually am doing it right next to the sink and I'll just rinse off my hands. But if you don't want bleach on your fingertips, I don't blame you. Pick up a pair of gloves. They're about a dollar and they're something that's really nice to have. If you're touching up your entire head and not just a couple roots, um, like areas where you're touching up just a few roots, I definitely say getting a tub of bleach. There's a couple different kinds. There's this kind, um, this is the prism lights kind and it's, it's good. Um, if I'm being honest, I can't really tell what is a good bleach and a bad bleach to use because they all kind of do the same thing. The whole point of bleach is that it lifts pigment out of your hair. There's still like a ton in here and I've used it probably about four different times touching up my roots. So it lasts a really long time. So it's kind of more of an investment than anything else. I definitely recommend getting the tub. Tub runs you about 20 bucks. You are, you're also going to need a developer. I really like the Ion Sensitive Scalp Developer because it smells good. It smells kind of like berries or something and it's really, really good. I think 30 is the highest you should go, but it depends on how dark your roots are. I'm kind of a level four-ish, I think, when on my virgin hair, it's, it's decently, it's like a medium ashy toned brown. And I like to use a 30 developer um, because it lifts quickly, but not so quickly that I'm causing a ton of damage. So I would recommend a 30 volume developer. And if you have lighter roots already. If you're like a level seven or eight even, you don't need 30. I would say 20, but 10 won't do anything. So definitely don't get a 10. I know that you mentioned that you were worried about um, brassy tones, orangeness, and I'm just gonna say that there's quite a possibility you will still have brassy roots when you do it this way. But the nice thing is you can get a, a toner when you're at Sally's. And toners look like this. This is the one that I use. This is the Wella T18 Lightest Ash Blonde. I personally really like the white blonde look. I really like having really light blonde with not a lot of yellow or orange tones in it, which is what this is, because I toned it yesterday. So um, this is probably about as white blonde as I can get, but the, the light in here sucks. So <laughs> it might not be an accurate portrayal of how white blonde it looks in here, but there's not any yellow tones in it at all. There's no orange, there's no brassiness. That is all because of the toner that I used. And this is the toner that I use. I love this stuff. This I think is probably about six or $7, maybe eight. Comes in a tiny, tiny box. For me, it's underneath the hair dyes in, um, in Sally's. But if you're, if you're trying to find the toners, then just ask for, where do you find the Wella toners? And they'll tell you. With a toner, if you are getting a toner to kind of tone down the brassiness or orange tones, you need a 20 volume developer to go with it to mix it. Cause I believe it's one part toner to two parts developer. They make toners in this size. This is a 10 volume developer, but you can see the size difference. This is eight fluid ounces. You can get an eight fluid ounce just to mix it with the toner. And the eight fluid ounce, I think this was like a dollar or something. The developers are re uh, relatively inexpensive. Yeah, I would recommend a toner if you're worried about brassy tones. Hair clips are kind of nice to have. I don't know if you have any already, but I would recommend getting some if you don't. And then you're also going to need something to separate your hair and section it off. So 
I just use a fine tooth comb with um, a pick at the end. So that way you can, you know, easily section off your hair and get every little piece. Okay, I just wanted to show you how I actually section off my hair. So I'm sorry, I look kind of like a triceratops right now. Split my hair down the middle and I'll cut it into two hemispheres basically. And um, then from there, I'll do the front portion as one piece right here. And I'll usually cut it in front of my ears. So take a line, this is one section right here. Do the same thing on the other side, in front of my ears. This is a second section. For the back, um, then that pretty much leaves the back portion all by itself. And I'll use my thumbs across my ears and cut the crown section. I don't know if I'm pointing it in the right direction. I'll cut the crown section into one section and then this will be the first piece that I bleach. I like to work with the back section first because um, what I'll do is I'll mix some bleach in here with the developer. I'll mix it together until it's kind of goopy. It's thicker, I use it so it's thicker in the back. Um, I use the thicker um, consistency bleach in the back and then I'll use the um, the runnier consistency in the front so so the back kind of develops almost at the same rate as the front so that way I don't have to worry about it like not lifting up in the back or not lifting up as much or anything like that or having it be too harsh or something like that that's pretty much it you just kind of section it into very very small sections and paint the dark spots try not to if you can help it try not to paint the um, blonde spots, the spots that are already blonde, because that just is not good for it. So um, just try to make sure you just get it in with the dark spots. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, when you're working with the back, I would suggest having a friend help you. I had Blake's mom help me beforehand. If I'm not getting any help, I'll have a hand mirror and just do it myself. But you're more likely to miss spots if you're doing it by yourself in the back. So I'd suggest having a friend. I'll just work my way forward. How it ends up working is the portion in the back of my hair, it'll usually sit there for probably about 40 minutes or so on the dark spots only. And the front, because I've added a little bit more developer at this point, so it's a more runny consistency, I usually have that develop for 25 to 30 minutes or so. And then I'll just hop in the shower, shampoo it out, and tone it. You mix one part toner to two parts developer, 20 volume developer, mix it up, and your hair should still be damp because you just rinsed out all of the um, bleach from the shower. And once it's all mixed out, you pretty much just paint the toner all over your hair. You just, the nice thing when it's damp is that it gets everywhere pretty easily. And um, I even paint, you know, all of my hair, not just my roots, but all of my hair with the toner. And what the toner does is it tones down the brassy tones and brings more neutral tones and ashy tones to the, be the front, basically. Once you have the toner sitting on your hair, it will turn your hair purple momentarily, just while it's developing. And you let that sit for, I believe, max, tw was it 20 minutes or half an hour? Something al along there, because if you let it sit too long, it gets really, really ashy and it looks starts to turn kind of grayish and you don't want that. But then it's, the nice thing about toners is that they're semi-permanent. They, they don't last, like this color will not last. So. If, it, if you do overtone it, it's not the end of the world because it'll just fade over time. So I think I've covered pretty much everything. If you have any more questions, just comment down below and let me know or message me or anything and I'll totally help you out. I just wanted to talk about this because it um, I get questions about how to touch up my roots all the time. So hopefully that helped. <laughs> Let's get back to the vlog. So somebody's got gorgeous highlights that are sitting on there getting all developed. And I did my roots, the roots got done, and unfortunately the camera decided it didn't want to film any of it. So that's really, really awful and I feel really bad because I told some of you guys that I would show you how to do your roots, but it didn't film anything. But I guess the basis of it is paint the dark spots and get a friend to help you with the back or do it with a hand mirror because there's really no way you can get the back accurately without seeing what you're doing or have somebody else do it. Like, get yourself a Susan. <laughs> it's a little bit yellowy for me, so I do have to tone it today, but also I'm going to add a little bit of low light in here too because, I don't know, just to add a little bit of dimension. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have the Ion Color Brilliance Intensive Shine Demi Permanent Hair Color in 8N, which is light natural blonde, and it's going to be darker than what um, my hair is right now. So that's why I got this color. 
And this is the highlighting stuff that I did on Susan's head. And we're gonna see how this goes. This is also leftover bleach that I have here because I did miss a few spots. Like, where'd it go? Right there, there's a spot I missed, as you can see. Look at her hair, it turned out okay. I think. I mean, personally. Know. Yeah, well, it's, it's still <laughs> wet, so I don't know. And I look like a satellite. I should be getting like radio reception in my oh, head yeah. right now, I know. So, I'm gonna give Susan a big blowout with this new brush that we got yesterday when we spent too much money at Ulta. I spent too much money I spent at Ulta. Dollars. I spent 71. <laughs> <laughs> and 49 cents. Really? I don't remember that part. But it, you know. Stop bugging Sam. He doesn't want to play. Sam's like, can you save me? Save me, please. Alright, so we are rocking the purple hat a little bit, and now I'm going to go rinse it all out because this is just the toner. Alright! <laughs> so, that was quite fun, huh? You got drool all over your face. We just spent a little while at the dog park with the puppy dogs, and Noelle was deciding to terrorize this baby husky the entire time. <laughs> it's so red in here. Every single time we come in here, it's so red, but maybe I can adjust the white balance. Hold on. We're currently at Firefly right now, and she hasn't been in a while. It's only my second time. Yeah, I don't think, I haven't, we haven't been here in a while, actually, because we just haven't, but it's our favorite place to eat because the plates are tiny, and we can share, and it's delicious. All of it is so, so, so good. So, we're quite excited. And I ordered to start the apple and manchego salad and the stuffed dates. And you got the garden salad, right? Yeah, actually, it's like this one. Garden variety salad. So these are the stuffed dates. You probably can't tell very easily, but... And I'm not a stuffed date person, but these are good. These are really good. And they're, they're bacon-wrapped dates with, like, almond slivers and blue cheese and red wine reduction, and it's just so good. This is the apple and manchego salad. Am I saying that right? Is it manchego? Manchego. Yeah, manchego. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's so good. As you can see, it's super tiny slices of apple. It's just really good. Do you want a bite? Go for it. A huge failure. Failure and didn't vlog any of the food we got, but we got fish and chips. Well, it's not looking so good now. <laughs> What's left of fish and chips, and I got some on this plate too. We got these fries. The firefly fries are really, really good. They have like parmesan and garlic and aioli to dip, and it's so good. And shrimp tempura, which is to die for as well. So, as it turns out, we all got home at the same time. We got all kinds of yummy things. And I got all kinds of yummy smelly things. I'm excited about it. You wanna see what I got? First, okay, no, not first. First, look at this. Take them out. Smell. Okay, let's go potty. Mm, where'd you guys go? Whole Foods. Ten. That you showed her the nice one? Not really because I, she didn't get out of the car because we were terrified that she'd eat the more okay. of it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably. Noelle ate some of Susan's car today, so. Want to eat some of these? I bet you get really sick. <laughs> and I picked up some incense at Whole Foods. No. Nope. Because incense is amazing. Um, and I haven't actually burned incense in a really, really long time, but today I was thinking, today's a good day for incense. It's relaxing. So Blake, I want you to pick out which one to burn. Because I got ten. You see how they're all color-coded? So I got a couple of the same kind because I really liked them. Okay. Um, but you can pick whichever one you want to burn. That one. This one? Oh, you picked vanilla. Oh, okay. I picked mm. vanilla. <laughs> Did it work? Mm -hmm. Smell good? That won't make the fire alarm go off, will it? Not. <laughs> we got the fan going, so it should be fine. Guess we'll see. So today we woke up because it's rainy outside. And I woke up because I heard cars driving in the rain. Did you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's super wet. Well, it sounds wet. The ground is all wet outside. So, that's awesome. 
considering it does not really wear that phosphate so all that much. And my throat is all sore, probably because we left the window open and it decided to rain or something. I don't really know the mechanics behind it, sorry. <laughs> I always wake up, I always cuddle. Hey, I always... Oh, you force me to cuddle. Oh, I force him to cuddle. Hello, come cuddle me. Hello. Hello, thanks. Oh. We cuddle, and then... We gotta stay here long though. <laughs> and then we wake up and get coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the puppy should be awake pretty soon too. She is. She is. Mm -hmm. She's been barking all morning. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't heard that part. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this off now. And we'll talk to you after we get some coffee. You have a, like a huge booger coming out of your mm -hmm. eye. She does. Gross! I don't care, I'm getting pets right now. <laughs> I don't even care. I just like the pets. The pets are the best. You have such pretty teeth, little one. You have such a pretty smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just my feet. Do you have anything incredibly important to say other than excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> I have a little project I'm doing next week. <gasps> what project? I can't tell you. Oh no, that's cruel. Yeah, it's classified. Classified Hi. information. Will we Hi. get to find out oh. soon enough? Yeah. We're gonna find out pretty soon. I hope it's not super anticlimactic. Do I know what this project is? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Oh, she said goodbye too. That's nice. <laughs> goodbye.